Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining in. Thanks for subscribing and I hope you all are having a great day. It is a little rainy in my neck of the woods but I'm having a great day. I'm going to be making a simple yet delicious dish. I'm going to fry some okra and I have my fresh okra here that I washed and cut up. Uh, as you can see here, and this is what I cut off, the little tails and the head, uh, and I will toss those. I have seasonings here, and the seasonings that I have are the red and green peppers, yellow and green onions, parsley, and I have the garlic over there, which I will put in lastly. I have the beef kielbasa sausage, and a few dried shrimp. I don't have as many shrimp as I would like, but I'm going to use what I have. I will be using the Creole seasoning, Tony Shasheries, garlic pepper seasoning, onion powder, and a little bit of seasonal if I need it. So, my skillet here, my cast iron skillet, has a little bit of olive oil, about two tablespoons. And first of all, I will put in my seasoning and get them all softened, sauteed, and after they're softened, then I will put the garlic in. I don't want to put the garlic in too quickly because it will tend to burn. Once I get the garlic in, garlic in then I will put in my two pounds of cut up okra and after I get that cooked a little bit I will be cutting my sausage up in little circles I'm using beef kielbasa sausage today and the last thing that I will put in will be the dried shrimp because they don't need to stay in too long but I will get started pause right here and I'll come right back Okay, the okra is cooking on medium heat, and I have not added the sausage or the shrimp yet, and I am going to, I've put some dry seasoning on it, I'm going to put, put the top on and let it steam. I'm cooking it until, uh, you know, I cook the slime off and get it done before I put the sausage in. I could add tomato but I don't know if I'm going to do it this time but if so I'll let you know okay y'all I've added my little dried shrimp of course you can use fresh shrimp but I didn't have any I have the dried so I'm going to mix this in and let this cook maybe for about five or six minutes and you will have the smothered okra sausage and shrimp and I am going to put it over rice and I'll come back and show you what it looks like and I've already tasted um, this and it is so so delicious so I will come back and let you see it in just a bit okay y'all I am back with the finished product this is my smothered okra with sausage and dried shrimp. I know I said it would be fried okra, but as it turned out, it turned out to be smothered okra. It is delicious. It is a Creole dish. And here you have it. I did add a hint of smoked paprika and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Not much, just a little bit. And my whole dish cooked for about 40 minutes or so. You just have to kind of eyeball it. I didn't just really measure anything or I just watched it. You have to keep an eye on it, keep it stirred and all. And here it is. It is so, so delicious. You can add tomatoes to it if you want to, but I decided not to. But here it is coming straight from Patty's Southern Kitchen. Please subscribe, like, give me the thumb up, share, tell your friends and family about my channel. 
I really appreciate it. And I love, love each and every one of you. I thank you so much to my loyal channel members and those of you that follow and comment on my page. I really, really appreciate it. I will see you on the next exciting video. Bye now.